Meet David. It's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. A 25 year old realtor from Rockford, Michigan. But tonight, it's not a house he's selling, but a story about how he ended up in a sting motel with pizza, clams, and a girl 10 years younger than him. David contacted our decoy girl on a gay dating app where the two soon began chatting on Snapchat. Where you at? I can come over to your place. I'm at a motel right now, and also I'm actually 15 if that's cool. That's fine, but you're seriously 15? Send me a selfie of you right now. So we send a selfie. Damn, you are pretty cute. Can you send location and we FaceTime prior? Sure. You said your mom has gone until 6. She worked from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m.? Yeah, lol. Ah, okay. I can come over a little earlier in the night tomorrow. I will bring pizza for sure and possibly coffee. Condoms. You're so vague, it's stressful. I don't know what to expect. I'm sorry. The risk I'm putting myself at is kind of life-altering. Like, we can't breathe a word of this to anyone ever. I definitely expect we will talk a lot and cuddle, though. The next text was even wilder. Also, you'd have to take the fall. The consequences for you are way less than for me. To top it off, David also asked to call several times. And thankfully, while me and my team were prepared for this, David asked to see the entirety of the motel room the decoy was staying in. To check for cops or cameras, I presume. Wait, wait, wait for me to get in. All right, not for you, Simon. It's David. Sorry, I was in the bathroom. Um, alright, this is gonna be like a really weird request. Could you just show me the rest of the room around again? Yeah. Alright. Sorry, let me, let me get like, there you go. Sorry, I'm just a little paranoid because I'm kind of high. LOL, I've never tried. I would, but tomorrow may not be a good night for that. Why not? Well, if we have your first time tomorrow, the weed may be a little too much. What a gentleman. The next night, that gentleman showed up to our sing motel. Alright, it's cold. <laughs> So, I'm good. good. Sorry, I'm a little anxious. Yeah, same. <sighs> anyway, oh, you have a switch. Yeah. Sorry, the lights are flashy. But yeah, no. But yeah, no, I have a switch. Uh, I play Smash. Uh, don't ask me for my name, names. <laughs> I play Pokemon Money Night, uh, Legends of the Animal Crossing. I love Animal Crossing. What's your, what is your main in? <sighs> I guess. <laughs> Rob. <laughs> Pikachu. Nope. I guess you don't really know me. <laughs> I guess you don't really know me, huh? Um, I'm, a, I'm a Pikachu main. Oh, Pikachu? Oh, that's fair though. I down B everything. Oh my gosh. Uh, do you know Dark Pit? Hmm? Dark oh, Pit? Yeah. yeah, I side B. Oh, <laughs> Electric shit. Shock, yeah. So I've been traveling for like the past year. Oh, where? Really? There's a list. Oh. <laughs> Um, Try the light flash. No, it's fine. Ireland, um, UK, Sweden, Poland, Montenegro, Albania, North Macedonia, Kosovo, Serbia, Bosnia. I can't even tell you where half of those places are on the map. Yeah, no. <laughs> Gotta love public school teaching. Yeah, no, fair enough. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but yeah, no, the hospital I was working at in London, uh, they had a PS5. <laughs> I had a hospital? Or hostel. Hostel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me explain what hostel is again. So, have you ever been in like a dorm living situation? No, I go to public school. Also, what's with the camera? What are you talking about? I don't see anything. It's just my bags. After making eye contact with it a few times already, our buddy David finally noticed the GoPros hidden underneath our decoys' bags. Right here. What on, then, man? Bro. Christ, please. Back up, keep your hands out of your pockets. Yeah, myself, Back please, up, myself, keep your hands out of your pockets. No, 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 no. Go take please, a seat, go please. take a seat, go take a seat right, right now on the bed. Go take a seat on the bed. Go take a seat on the bed. Keep your hands out of your pockets. Okay, go take the bed. We're just gonna talk. I'm so sorry. We're just gonna talk. No, just take a seat, man. No, it, we're just going to talk. Not again, not again, not again. Now, immediately I recognize that I'm not going to be able to conduct a traditional interview the way I would, given by the fact that he almost immediately dropped to his knees and started pleading with me. Needless to say, given how normal David was just a minute ago, we were all pretty surprised by his reaction to the situation. Take a seat. Oh my God. We just want to talk. Just want I'm to not coming to you, bro. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm just... Just take a seat. Calm down. Okay. Yeah, can we close the door, please? What? Yeah, you can close the door. Don't please. close the door. I can't. Otherwise, run it open for air. Just leave it. Just, 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 just close it for me. What are we here for, man? I'm, I'm moving around all over, man. Um, please don't eat this. I'm so sorry. How does that lead you here? 
Honestly, I just saw her. She said she was 18 at first, then she says she was 15, so I was like, you know what? If she's being left here, fuck, I knew it was a trap. <laughs> Where did she say she was 18? Calm down, we're just gonna have a conversation. This will be your picture, right? Hey, listen, look at me. Calm down, okay? Please, are you guys gonna call the cops? If you came for intention of that, of whatever the case may be, right? No, honestly, I was scared shitless of it. So, the question is, why are you here? Honestly, at the end of the day, I was just coming because I figured, like, hey, you know, if she's on Grinder right now, right. I could, it's either I show up and she's not on Grinder anymore, right? or she, um, Sorry. It's alright. It's gonna Take your time. I know I should have. I know I should have. Man, can, can I have the water, please? Yeah. You have no idea, man. I really, honestly, the entire time I was sitting there thinking, like, I really don't want Well, why did you come? I have nothing else better to do. I figured, like, hey, at the very least, if her mother's really out there clubbing, like, can you just sit here and hang? But, right. So I bring condoms. Did you bring condoms? Yes, okay, I wanted to be safe. Also, there was a little bit where I was thinking like, eh, it's 11 o'clock, I gotta hook up on the way back. Right, just in case you happen, this doesn't work out, you have another hookup elsewhere. No, 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 no. So this was your hookup? <laughs> no, this was not my hookup, please. <laughs> Say it, take it down. No, no, my fucking life is ruined. My life is ruined. My life is ruined. Why do you say that? Please, if you show up. Oh my God. Well, I, I don't really know what to make of the situation. You were talking no, about hooking up. Be. I knew what this was going to be. I knew what this was going to be. I knew what this was going to be. So then why did you come if you knew this was going to be, sir? Because I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. Is that the police? No. It's a, it's a girl. It's a girl. Please. I will mean, anything. Anything. I don't. Oh, oh, stay oh, back. Sorry, I thought you were going to present you something. You so you were just coming to hang out? Yes, please, you have to believe me. You have to believe me, I'm a good person. Right, it's a bad situation. I, I get it, I mean, you seem that, to go- That's why I was always so vague in the text. But is that really why you were vague in the text? Yes. Because it seems like you're worried about getting in trouble. Over I am else. worried about getting in trouble. Just being here is bad, just being around. Well then why would you come here, man? Now it's really easy to believe David's sob story about why he was texting so vaguely. His intentions in the text hold a completely different story to what he's telling me and what he'll tell the cops. Now I can't show all the chat logs here due to YouTube's terms of service. They'll all be posted for a small monthly fee on fyp.fan slash oma. As well as exclusive catches not yet on YouTube such as this one. If you're comfortable. Oh, sorry. I just like, I never really, like, I don't want my mom to. It's a Saturday night. You're a young guy. Also, you got your life. My was I was going to sit at home and play video games, man. Then you wouldn't have ended up in this situation. I, I should have, I should have bailed. I should have bailed. Okay, I feel a little bit baited, but I went for it, man. I went for it. How do you feel baited? Just, and you when reached I first out. messaged her. Right. Those intrusive thoughts win one time. Fuck. 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 Please, man, I won't be able to face any of my family. I won't be able to face anybody. What do you think would have happened here tonight if we weren't here? Honestly, I probably would have chickened out, man. You probably would have chickened out. So then why talk about having sex at all? Because that was her intention. She didn't bring that up. You brought that up. So how was that her intention? Or was it hers thought, or yours? I thought that was her intention based on what said on Grinder. What did it say on Grinder? It said she was looking for right now. It said she's looking to hang out in Grand Rapids for the weekend. I swear it's fine. Please, is there any way I can get out of this without spending the night in jail, please? Well, this is not, it's not going to be in my hands. Wait, who? Who? Who what? Who, who, are you guys calling the cops? Well, they're, they're already probably on their way, but- Oh you, my God, no. No, 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 Look, man, they, no. look, man, so calm, calm down. down. Sir, calm down. Stay at the bed. I'm, I'm gonna stay. If you want, just take a seat. Oh, okay. oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Ah! No, please, my please. Oh my God. Look, look, man. No.
At this point, myself and my entire team really were just in disbelief by David's reaction. I mean, he was almost acting like a cartoon character. I honestly wouldn't believe any viewers who think this is fake because I almost did and I was there. But keep watching because things get very real. Look, we're giving you an opportunity to speak on your behalf of your understanding of the situation. I just want to die. I want to die. I want to die. Oh my god. Well, look, man, you can always get help for this type of stuff. No one wants you to die. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please, sir, please, please. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so Please. Man, oh. Take a seat back on the bed. I, I can't relax. I, I would, I My life is done. My life is done. I want to get rid of sex offender. I, I don't want to be a you sex offender. You what? Offend. I don't want to be a sex offender. Please. Well, that's out of our hands. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't. Oh. Uh, you want to. I want to die. I want to die. I want to die. Oh my god. I want to die. No, 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 one here wants you to die. No, 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 no. I want to die. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, I take one f***ing risk. I take one f***ing risk. No, it's not okay. 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 Please let me go home. It's not okay, man. That's out of my hands. This place is not good, man. Man. Please, I'm begging. I'm begging you. Again. <sighs> I knew this was. I knew this was. Yep. Sir, are the police out there now? Yeah. I'm sorry, sir. Just come. Oh. Oh. Is there anything you want to say? I mean, you want to talk to me? I want to die. I want to die. I fucked up. I fucked up so bad here. Tell me how you fucked up. What happened? I'm, I meet her on Grinder, and then she said she was 15. I was like, so basically, David gives his account of the situation, and I hand over my evidence. So he approached an account on Grinder. That was her. Uh, they quickly moved to Snapchat, and then she was like, "Oh, I'm 15. Is that cool?" He said, "Oh, you know, that's a little young." And then he basically dismissed it at that point. He was like, are, is your mom around, or, or why are you here for? Because we said she's just visiting for the weekend. I want to go home so bad. Oh my god. You're not looking to me, so. No, my life is over, man. And she's like, oh, my mom leaves because she manages a nightclub here, so I'm here to myself. And then he started talking about, oh, you know, maybe we can hang out. In terms of when you say here. Here, here. so here hotel. is the motel. This is all confidential. Like, you guys aren't going to put this on the internet. Is the story that she lives here with her mom? The, the story she's is she's, she's here staying, for the week. Your mom works in town. Over yeah, the she's ma okay. managing a nightclub. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done this. I thought, I thought if she was just randomly looking for guys, that if I turned it down, she's just gonna go find another guy who would just come in here and rape her or some shit. And you gotta believe me, I'm a good man. I, I know you probably hear that all the time. But. So then from there, he started talking about hanging out, and then that's kind of when. He began asking if she'd have any interest in sex, if she's a virgin, has any experience. How are those conversations? I, I try to keep them really vague. I really didn't want to dirty talk with her because I was scared of this situation and her age. Like, it kind of, kind of didn't feel right. Oh my God. She asked uh, if I wanted to come over. She said that she was here with her mom on business. She's like, oh no, I haven't done anything like that. And he was like, oh, we could. But I'm high right now. Maybe we could get high together. Just phone wall keys and all that. Yes. And then he kind of like backtracked, like, oh, maybe tomorrow wouldn't be a good night to get high because for your first time, I don't want to make it like off or weird or anything. So, okay. Sit tight for one second. Okay. <sighs> oh my God. Oh my God. And it's at this point where we were asked to cut the cameras, which we did, and unbeknownst to me or the police, somehow one of my GoPros started re-recording after we had stopped them. What was found resulted in a lawsuit against the police department. This is when an officer admits to taking all of my equipment, whether relevant to the case or not, for no lawful reason at all, really. 
We're gonna take all their stuff yeah. for the, from these kids. So they, they wanna they wanna play this game and then we're gonna take it. So now last I knew you can't seize personal property for quote unquote kids playing games, which unfortunately this buffoon of an officer had to find out through it was an eventually successful lawsuit. And if that isn't bad enough, listen to how annoyed he sounds that David even mentioned harming himself. I mean, Lord forbid you have to do your job, but I'm sure he was just eager to get to his donut break. I got medics out here because you said you want to kill yourself. So I'm, I'm going to tell you that you're free to go once, once we get some more information from you. But now that you said you were going to kill yourself, now that you said that you want to kill yourself, I have to have a medic come in here and make sure you're not going to harm yourself. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Now, thankfully, I was able to have the funds to fight back against my equipment being unlawfully taken, but thankfully it was me and not a real girl who was in real trouble. Otherwise, this case would have been buried and David would have walked away and I probably would have never got my stuff back. And like I said, this wasn't the only predator that we'd even caught that weekend. As we caught another where Kentwood PD were actually useful, which you can view now at fyp.fans slash OMA. And while nothing may have happened to David legally, I hope he took a very big lesson away from all of this. Don't meet up with Tobin for let those intrusive thoughts win one time.